What's going on guys? How's it going? If you're new to the channel, my name is Awesome and this is my channel Odd Crave. In today's episode, we're going to talk about the 2020 Chevy Corvette C8 and the new 2020 Porsche 911 Carrera Series. And you're probably thinking, why am I making this video? And yes, it's true, the new Chevy Corvette is a performance bargain. But there are so many other elements to the Corvette that make it such more of a bargain than just in terms of performance. And before I forget, make sure you hit that notification bell so you're up to date with the latest and greatest autocrate content, as well as subscribe and hit the like button. So I actually added a rank system to my channel in terms of ranking cars that I make comparisons out of, and one of the main elements that I consider is performance. For example, 0-60 to 60 numbers, tires, torque, horsepower, etc. And also, sleekness, interior, exterior, reliability, and price or all other factors that are considered in this ranking system that I made. Alright, so starting off with performance, we got the 2020 C8 Corvette with a 6.2 liter V8, a 0 to 60 time of 2.8 to 2.9 seconds, which is pretty impressive, with a 495 horsepower motor at the max with a performance exhaust or the Z51 package, and with a top speed of 194 miles per hour. That is just like mind boggling. Also, the C8 Corvette has a pretty nice curb weight actually from uh, 3,535 pounds to 3,637 pounds. And the 3,637 pounds is the max weight with uh, the hard top or the convertible, which isn't even that bad actually. In that case, I would absolutely rate the Corvette a three out of three in terms of performance. Good job, Chevy. Okay, so we got the 2020 Porsche 911 Carrera model, which is different than the turbo model released since the Carrera model and the turbo model are two different trims or models within the 911 lineup. And let's go with performance stats. So we got a three liter Boxer 6 engine, and essentially a Boxer 6 engine is a six cylinder engine. And zero to 60 time, which is caused from that is a 3.6 to four second zero to 60 time, which is somewhat okay for a sports car, but not the best. Uh, the horsepower figure is 379 horsepower to 443 horsepower depending upon the trim of the 911 or the model. Uh, a top speed of 182 to 188 miles per hour also depending upon the model which is not too shabby actually, quite exceptional. And the curb weight or the weight of the 911 Carrera is 3,354 pounds to 3,641 pounds and the max 3,641 pounds is with the convertible which is um, Spot on Porsche, good job. Overall, in terms of performance, I would rank the 2020 Porsche 911 Carrera a two out of three in terms of performance. Not too bad, Porsche, good job. The next category is exterior design. And first and foremost, let's start off with the 2020 Chevy Corvette C8. So I would rank the Chevy Corvette C8 a total of three out of three points just for exterior design because it's both exotic and understated. Given the fact that the exterior design of the 2020 C8 Corvette is both exotic and understated is actually a positive or is actually pretty good is since it appeals to both potential buyers of the Corvette itself. Like the 2020 Chevy Corvette C8, the 2020 Porsche 911 Carrera series also deserves a 3 out of 3 for the exterior design rank since it's both understated and exotic. For the interior design of the 2020 Corvette C8, the space is ample, like it's enough, but it's not the best for a sports car. The interior is pretty luxurious, which is a plus, and not to mention, there's a 14-speaker Bose sound system that's offered, and Apple CarPlay is also offered. For the interior design of the 2020 Chevy Corvette C8, I'll give it a score of 2 out of 3 points, since the interior is luxurious for a sports car. Features like the 14-speaker Bose sound system and Apple CarPlay are available on the C8 Corvette. And the space is ample or it's enough for a sports car, but it, it can get very claustrophobic since the interior is more of a cockpit than an open environment. For the interior design of the 2020 Porsche 911 Carrera models, I would give a score of 3 out of 3 points. Since the 2020 Porsche 911 Carrera models do offer four seats, 
for added practicality instead of the Corvette C8 two seats. Uh, the interior is pretty luxurious and features like Apple CarPlay are also available. For the reliability of the 2020 Corvette C8, I would rank the reliability a total of 3 out of 3 stars since according to the website www.cars.usnews.com, the rating is 4 out of 5 stars, but the only issue is that Chevy has had some reliability issues in the past. For the 2020 Porsche 911 Carrera models, I would give the reliability ranking a solid 3 out of 3 stars because uh, on the same website www.cars.news.com, the reliability ranking was 4 out of 5 stars. And you could also uh, know the fact that Porsche makes some pretty sturdy or reliable vehicles. Okay, so now we're on price, and let's start off with the 2020 Corvette C8. So the MSRP of the 2020 Corvette C8 ranges from $59,995 to $80,000 compared to a $100,000 plus supercar, which is great value and quite a bargain for what you're getting. And I would rate the Corvette C8 in terms of price a total of 3 out of 3 points. For the 2020 Porsche 911 Carrera models on the other hand, in terms of price, the MSRP or the manufacturer's suggested retail price ranges from $97,400 to $133,400 and the value is okay so I'd give the price for the 2020 Porsche 911 Carrera models 2 out of 3 stars. I also made a list of some good to know features for both cars and all vehicles that I would do comparisons for and this is not included in my ranking system by the way. And so for the 2020 Corvette C8, some interesting features are that the Corvette is now mid-engine meaning that the engine is within the front and rear axle or in between both axles for better weight distribution, uh, for example handling and braking. And the Corvette also has room for two golf bags. so. It is somewhat practical. For the 2020 Porsche 911 Carrera models, uh, some good to know features are that the Carrera models especially for sure have the water sensing sensors which detect if there's water on the road. The traction control system and other safety systems of the car would adapt to that environment to protect the driver. And the Carrera models for sure have the all aluminum body. Last but not least, I just wanted to say that these are the results for today's comparison. And it's not like one car is worse than the other car, but the C8 Corvette does have an advantage in terms of being the overall bargain. If you like today's content, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all our future episodes, and see you next video. Peace.